but at the same time, I found myself being complacent yep. and not actually, um, and how I find myself and what I do to like try to get motivated again. I try to, I, I, I wish, you know, we did have somebody to pull us back and be like, wait a minute. Yeah, no, facts, man. So, you know, and that's, so I, I coach gymnastics, been doing that for about 18 years now. And uh, before, before every uh, competition for the most part, uh, mm-hmm. I tend to ask my gymnasts, okay, what are your goals today, right? They're about to compete. Mm-hmm. They got four different events or whatever. Then they tell me stuff. And then like even this weekend, after they tell me their kind of goals, I'm like, all right, cool. Goals are great, okay? But what are the steps that you're about to take to make sure that you hit that goal? And that's part of that discipline. Like people people can talk about like, yeah, I want to lose weight. I want to do this. I want to do that, whatever. That's, that's fantastic that you want to do that. Right. But like your dad was talking about with that discipline, if you don't have steps to do that, Right. That would be like that would be like uh, in a home that doesn't have a set of stairs and your goal is to hit this this flight of steps. Right. Or up here. But there's no stairs. Well, you don't just jump up there. You don't struggle bus up there. You go one step at a time. Right. You build that up one right. step at a time till you meet your goal. So, yeah, mm-hmm. discipline is everything. But yet it is it's the everything. first thing that people and myself included will drop in a heartbeat while things are good. When things are good, mm-hmm. right? When time is all right, when things are happening or whatever, you're you can it can be very easy to become complacent, right? And lose that discipline that got you to that goal or to that place mm. in the first place. Uh yeah. speak, speak on um just how do you stay motivated, bro? Because that is something that you have to be disciplined even when you are not feeling it. Uh man, I gotta be honest with you. Like I found myself in that complacent area in that complacent time mm-hmm. um to where it was just like i wasn't really focused on stuff that i actually wanted to do i was focused on other stuff which was good yeah. um but it took um uh, some time for me to actually like get back to it so i was talking to my girl um and i was telling her i was just like man i'm too comfortable mm. I'm, I'm 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 too I'm too, I'm too comfortable. Like, this is not, I don't feel like, I feel like I'm not making music the way I want to. Like, I'm going to sleep. I, I, like, I'm too comfortable. Why is that? It's, wow. And it was just like, um, I realized, like, I was um, MD. I was working at my uh, local church. I was a music director for my local church. And it was just like, cool. I was getting blessed. And I was honored to um, be having a uh, a salary there. Um mm-hmm. But it was good. But at the same time, I found myself being complacent yep. and not actually having the same drive that got me where I am. Understood, yeah. But it got me where I am because I was uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable because I didn't know when the next check was coming. Now yep. that I got a, a a certain check coming in, it's sure. just like, oh, I can chill. I ain't got to worry about like putting out a song or, you know, the next show or whatever the case may be. You're trying to, you know, make content and all this type of stuff. Cause like, and then God snatched that away. It was just like, all right, well, I heard your prayer. I know mm. I didn't pray that I wanted to be uncomfortable. I was just talking. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, you weren't supposed to hear that now. Why, why were you listening? <laughs> but I found myself being uncomfortable. Now it's just like, all right, what are you about to do? It's not about who you are when you're comfortable. It's how, who you are when you're uncomfortable. Like, Ooh. when you don't know what's about to happen next. You know what I'm saying? Yes, <laughs> so, I mean, I was, it, it took a lot for me to get out of that. Um, and how I find myself and what I do to, like, try to get motivated again. I try to get around people that, you know, motive like, of the same mindset. Like I'll try to put together a writing session or something like that, or I'll have a session uh, with some friends of mine and then I'll try to lead that session inspired to like, all right, I can go write a, go write a song or something like that. Like I was super inspired by the Bohemian Rhapsody movie, mm-hmm. like, you know, documentary type things and stuff like yeah. that. The Kanye the West documentary had me on fire. I was like, yes, I'm yeah. about to go make a Kanye West album. <laughs> <laughs> So it's it's stuff like that that like kind of drives motivation um back into um alignment. Like just recently, like I, I'm this is a recently to where I, I was talking, I was just like, I don't I haven't made a song in for myself in a heck of long. 
Yeah. Like, I feel, man, I feel like I can't write a song. Like, I'll have ideas, but I can never finish it. Mm. And then, like, something was, and I was just like, oh, I want to finish it. So I literally came back, and then somebody, uh, somebody hit me up to write a song for them. I was like, all right, okay. It gave me motivation, gave me a reason to actually do it because it was very intentional. Okay, now I got to write a song. And then from there, I had to force myself. And within yeah. me forcing myself, it's just like, oh, man, I'm, I'm ready to write another album. Let's get it. I'm trying to write an album now. <laughs> hey, just getting that jump start, right? Just something, something I had to push it to get the, get the gears going. Yeah, and, and, and just knowing that it's okay to rest. Amen. It's okay yes, sir. to not have a lot of stuff going. You know, I get I get discouraged and I'm like, man, I feel like I ain't did nothing. Mm-hmm. My chick would be like, Brandon, you just made three videos yesterday. Like, relax. You made three videos and two songs within the last week. That's a lot more than other people do. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> it really is a lot. So it's just like understanding that part of it. Is like celebrating the small wins, looking at what you did, and she was just like, write down the stuff that you have to do, so that way, like you can see your progress throughout it. Yes. And I was just like, all right, you dropping bars, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes so, that yeah. step back allows you mm-hmm. to to be able to see everything, right? Because you're, you know, when you're when you're in it, just like I mean, I'm I'm not an artist in, in terms of like painting or whatever. Um, but it would just be like something like that where like, you know, if, if their, if their mindset was literally only what their brush is doing, right. They would not be able to, uh, to fully see the picture and to be able to step back and enjoy it. Right. It's, it's that moment yeah. of when you step back and you see it all and you're like, oh man, okay, this is, this is nice. This is good. Right. Um, you know, even, even with God, like created something, Hey, it was good. Right. Like, yeah being able to step back and, and just being able to take that in. And I know, and it's, and it's so funny that you say that too, but then what you really said, which was key, being okay to rest and allow yourself to soak that in too, man. That's so important. Yeah. Yeah. It really is important for sure. And like, it's, it's, that's fire. What you said about like the art and like, cause if you're assumed in and if you focus on the details, whatever the case may be, you won't actually see the progress of what you are doing. Yeah. Until you step out, that's fire, and that's that's kind of what happened with RPS and G. Like we was involved in it, we mm-hmm. was in it, and then years later, we hearing about the impact that RPS and G had, and we're yep. just like, dang, people was actually rocking like that. Yeah, but we didn't see it because we was like just so focused on what was happening in front of us and all this type of stuff, and and. I, I wish, you know, we did have somebody to pull us back and be like, wait a minute, look at this. This is bigger than what's happening between y'all or whatever the case may be. It's bigger than what y'all think it is. Um, and, and it's just like I try to remind people of that all the time. And me and, and my parents and my sister and everybody and the people around me um, remind me of, like, what's actually happening. Like when I hear people's stories about like, man, I grew up on your music, like it touched me and all this type of stuff. I'm like, wow. Like hearing the stuff that you played back, I'm like, bro, I know I said that I got a catalog, but dang, I got bro, a catalog. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, if you liked any of this content and you found some value in it, make sure that you like, subscribe, and of course, share it. Also, if you're interested in some more, go ahead and check out these videos. Till next time, grace and peace. Adios. Adios.